Not to make light of the outcome of the next story, but listen to this, which we've appropriately named Charged Lemonade of Death. A college student named Sarah Katz, who had a heart condition, passed away after consuming a highly caffeinated drink from Panera Bread, believing it to be safe. Her parents filed a lawsuit against Panera, alleging that the company didn't provide adequate warnings about the drink's dangers and falsely marketed it as quote unquote clean, despite containing more caffeine than popular energy drinks. Sarah had a heart condition known as long QT type one syndrome. I've never heard of that, but I assume it's very deadly. And she was meticulous about her health, including avoiding highly caffeinated beverages. Panera's charged lemonade came under scrutiny after a TikTok video revealed its unexpectedly high caffeine content. It's essential to note that caffeine sensitivity varies among individuals and some medical conditions or medications can heighten the sensitivity. Most healthy adults can safely consume up to 400 milligrams of caffeine per day, but Panera's large 30 ounce charged lemonade contains 390 milligrams in one drink. The drink was not labeled as an energy drink and was placed alongside other non-caffeinated options at the Panera location where Sarah purchased it. After drinking the lemonade, Sarah experienced cardiac arrest, was rushed immediately to the hospital, and sadly she passed away. This does apply to me. I work out at the gym six days a week and I always drink energy drinks. Uh, so I don't know, let us know what you think about the charged lemonade at Panera Bread, comment below. I'm drinking one right now. I should've went like this. I'm drinking one right now. <laughs>